Well, and what it reminds me of is our good friend Jake, you know, when he he had an ex-wife who was murdered mm-hmm. and he talked about, thank God I'm sober because otherwise I would have found a way to make it all oh, about yeah. me. All about me. And and that and Fuck. that's and that's exactly true. Like in this situation that you're dealing with now, like if it were me and my mom was in the hospital and I was still using and drinking, oh. fuck, dude. D- poor, d- 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 poor Cameron. Dude, my mom's hurt. I need you uh, hook me up. Yeah, for free. For free. <laughs> yeah, I mean, and, that, and that's... Pour me a drink. I, I can only imagine, like, just how, how much worse that would make things for your family. Fuck. Or for my family or for, for anybody. Yeah. If, if, if that was the behavior that we still indulged in today. And luckily, like, because you're putting this thing first, we're putting this thing first. That's not the case. Like, mm-hmm. And, and like, I don't know, like sometimes it's, 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 it's a healthy reminder when we have these moments in these, these situations, like for me anyways, when, when I'm faced with these challenges that I know would have devastated me in the past like early on in recovery like I had an uncle that passed away he was a really close uncle and uh and I just knew like this this is a moment this is a moment I can get away with it you know right and but I knew like if that's that's not going to make anything better and this is a moment where I can really just grow you know and be there for everybody else and and you know, and live through it in a healthy way. And so like sometimes the way that we're able to go through these moments is such a good reminder of the blessings that we have because, because of the program of Alcoholics Anonymous or because we've done the work that we need to do on ourselves because we're sober today. Yeah. Right. Um, and, and being sober is one thing. And I, and I, I just want to emphasize, you know, like re- recovery is not always sobriety. Right. Like I can, I can not drink and drug and that's one thing. Yeah. That's, that's sober. That's sober. Quote unquote. Yeah, absolutely. But for me to be spiritually well and emotionally sober and, and working a program of recovery, that's why the topic is keeping recovery first and not keeping sobriety first. Right. Because, you know, that's just the beginning is, yeah. is getting sober is just the beginning. And there's a lot that we need to do early on to get and to stay sober. But as we continue through the process and we continue on our, on our journey, recovery becomes more and more of what we're doing every single day. Yeah. We are staying recovered. We are staying sober. And that's a blessing in and of itself. But we continue to move forward and continue to work on our recovery by putting it first. And as a result, we stay sober. Well said. Yeah. Well said. 